everyone, Property Lim Brothers is back with another landed home tour series. Today we are in District 19. We have a detached home, triple nine year lease to show you. This is a two story plus attic sitting on the total land size of 4176 square feet. It features a seven bed, seven bath. It's everything that you want in a dream home with a swimming pool, a private lift, and even a garden. So join me as we show you on this exclusive detached home tour. Let's go. Alright, so if you are someone who is already staying in a landed or you are thinking about staying in one, then you will need to be familiar with the whole landed landscape. Just take a look at the supply of the landed in Singapore. The top three districts with the most number of landed supply. In the third place, you have Bukit Timah area that's in District 10. We have a total of 6,800 over units. So where we are standing in District 19 holds the most number of landed with 11,000 over units of which majority of them, about 7,700 over are considered of a smaller landed. Those are in the terrace category and over 3,000 units are of the semi detached status which means that there are only about 800 detached homes in the whole of District 19. Alright, so if you take a look at the landscape of District 19, it is really huge uh, from Yochukang to Serangoon to Coven. Serangoon Garden remains one of the top choice for landed owners to stay in because of three reasons. So number one, there is a very high volume transaction and this is going to be very important for you if you are looking for a landed with good valuation projection. Number two, in Serangoon Garden landed enclave itself, it is zoned two-storey or three-storey mixed landed, which means there is no chance for developers to buy into your neighbouring units and convert them into boutique developments or apartment. Number three, Serangoon Garden is considered very close to the central area, but in terms of land pricing wise, we are more affordable as compared to Bukit Timah or East Coast area. Alright, so before I bring you into the home itself, just want to share a little bit in terms of the plot dimension that we are standing on. In terms of width wise, we are talking about about 10.6 meters and you have a total depth of 36.6 meters. So this whole detached consists of seven bed, seven bath, of which six of them comes with an ensuite bathroom and walk-in wardrobe. This is a very meticulous and well thought of design and planning. You have a private lift serving from the first to the third level. At the back of the first level is where you can find the guest room, helpers room, common bathroom and a bomb shelter. Not forgetting you have a wet and dry kitchen and a huge living and dining area. The best part of having this home is that it comes with a Japanese Zen garden and also a 12.8 meter swimming pool. So despite this being the almost brand new home, the owner has spent about $500,000 in terms of the whole renovation, making the whole team really Zen, minimalist, with warm and cozy finishes. They also added customized aluminium panels in the balcony dining area for added privacy. There is also beautifully cut out granite as stepping stone in the garden plus all the planting with all the carpentry work in the living, dining and the six bedroom. Alright, so with an entrance of a total width of 10.6 meters, it is possible for you to fit up to three cars you can park two vertically over here and perhaps a smaller car right over here horizontally. The owners did add on the extension for the car porch area so that once you park your car, you will be assured that you'll be sheltered away from the rain. Alright, so let's check out the interior of the home. Back in there, back in there, back again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey. Alright, so as you enter the home, you'll be greeted with this spacious living area. You have a very generous ceiling height of 3.4 meters with a total width of 5.3 meters. That allows you to put your sofa right over there and you still have a good distance away from your TV console. Now, in terms of what are the renovations that you can do as a new homeowner, if you require more storages, you could build up a full height TV console that allows you to put more of your personal stuff. Alright, so what I really love about this whole living area is that it's so inclusive you have a lot of privacy yet it still allows a lot of daylight to come through from all corners from the front from both the side and this is also where you can access to your private swimming pool area okay so what i really love about the pool is that you have a total length of 12.8 meters with a total width of two meters and you do get to walk around the area so you'll find marble flooring cladded throughout the first level of the home you do have ducted AC in the living and in the dining. 
So right in the middle of the home is where you can find a private lift. Uh, as of now, you can fit in seven packs. We did try and tested. It really worked. This is uh, by the brand Schindler. So this serve from the first to the third levels. Right across, the owners have added in this huge piece of glass panel. I cannot imagine how they even move this and install it right here. But I love the combination of having the outdoor together with the indoor, just flushed by a single piece of glass panel. So moving into your dining area, as of now, this fits an eight-seater. I think it's great for you to do some hosting. If you're looking for like reunion dinner, this is going to be where most of your gatherings is going to be held. Uh, right across, they did some carpentry for storages. So this acts a little bit like a dry kitchen. If you want to do your coffee machine over here, I think this would be the best spot to do so. So on both sides of the home, you can find full height balcony door. I think this is great. So a Allow a lot of ventilation. Uh, what they also did very well thought out of is this panel over here which allows you to close up if you're having any hosting or gathering or in the dining space. So if you might be thinking this is just a false facade, this is actually a bomb shelter right behind here. So this is a nice thought out of design. Everything seems so seamless but it is so functional. Alright, so on the left side of the home is where you can find this really beautiful Japanese Zen garden. So this is a combination of some pebbles and also custom cut out granite as stepping stone. They also did some planting and gardening right over here. I think this whole place makes the whole home feel so warm and cozy. Right, so the other portion is where you have a pool deck. This is probably where you want to chill out, have a wine, you talk to your friends. So what I really love about this swimming pool is that you get to walk around the edges. They even have this sitting deck, which means that while well, you're chilling out with your friends or family or your kids, you know, watch them play, can eat here or even chill and drink wine here. Alright, so now why do people really love owning a landed home? Is it just because of the lifestyle? No. And this is because landed ship is one of the strongest form of wealth preservation in Singapore. Uh, for two reasons. Number one, landed in Singapore can only be purchased by Singapore citizens. So non-citizen, foreigner, PR, all this, they will need to apply the LDAU. That's the land dealing approval unit. Number two, owning a landed serve as a good hedge against inflation, recession and economy uncertainties. Now, this is not because of what I say. This is evident based on the three years from 2020 to 2022. Despite the uncertainties from the COVID pandemic, the global lockdown, you have the unstable crypto market, increasing interest rate and the new cooling measures taking place. If you take a look at the chart from URA, you will find the property price index for landed continues to remain very resilient and with the PSF still creeping to a new high level. And this is also the reason why some of the ultra-rich people or businessmen are still buying into really expensive GCBs or stated in the news. Alright, so moving on, I really love this concept whereby the swimming pool gets access to a bathroom over here. So uh, imagine you're all wet and then like, you get to access into the bathroom. Alright, so as we come into the home, right at the back is where you can find the guest room. So, or even a granny room if let's say you do have elderly parents who wish to stay with you sometimes, then this would be of a good size bedroom for you to put a queen bed. There is provision for you to put a study table as well because it allows all the light to come through. Right at this side is where you can find the Jack and Joe bathroom. You can access both from the swimming pool area or internally from the home itself. Alright, so the other corner of the dining area is where you can find the whole kitchen. They did split into a dry and wet kitchen area. They did install this countertop. So they do have this long row of countertop. This is made of quartz and lots of storage space. Very nicely laminated inside out. You do have a cooker hood and hob together with a microwave oven with lots of storages up. On the other side is where you can find the countertop. Now this is made of compact plus. Very durable and very heat resistant. At the bottom you can find more storages 
places for you to put the kitchen appliances. Power point are well thought out of. You can find them in various corners of the kitchen. So there is a dedicated area for you to put in your own fridge. Right at the corner, if you look at the floor plan, this is the helper's room and the helper's WC. So I like that you still have a window for allow ventilation and allows daylight to come through. The backyard itself serves as a very generous size for a service yard. This is where the helpers will do most of the laundry. This is where you can put your washing machine, power point, water point or drainage. All this is already in place. Alright, so before I start the tour on the second level, just want to introduce you the location of this unit along Farley Avenue. So we are very close to the upcoming Tavistock MRT station that is serving the new Cross Island Line that is to be completed by the year 2030. This is going to bring more convenience for residents to travel to the west, that's towards Bukit Timah and Jurong Lake, all towards the east, heading Tampines and Aviation Park. In terms of immediate amenities that you get to enjoy in the heart of Serangoon Garden, you do have the famous Chom Chom Food Centre, Serangoon Garden Market, the GP Clinic, My Village Shopping Mall, lots of groceries options with cafes and eateries for foodies to explore. This is also where the Serangoon Garden Country Club is located. For parents who are keen to enroll your kids into the school nearby here, within 2km you can find CHIJ, Rosai School, St Gabriel's and Tsonghua Primary. So if you're someone who drives, you'll be pleased to know that this location is very near towards the Ang Mo Kio Avenue tree. That's where you can head towards the CTE. That will only take you about 15 minutes for you to head towards town and orchard shopping belt. So on the second and the third level, uh, for all the bedrooms as well as the common areas, you can find very nice parquet flooring. And right at the corner, you do have a family area. So I guess this is where your kids get to interact or play PlayStation. Towards the back of the home, you can find two bedrooms. As of now, you can see this is essentially like a gym room for the family. Uh, they actually have a whole bouldering wall that is being set up here. You have your monkey bar. So essentially, this is a blank canvas for you to re-explore into the design of your own. But for a bedroom of this size, you can definitely fit a king or a queen size bed right at this corner. Right in front is where you can put your TV console. And I do love how the light comes through from different corners of the house. So right at this corner is where you want to fit in your study table or a workstation. So what I really love about a home, it all comes with walk-in wardrobe. So if let's say this is not enough for you to put the clothes in, then likely you want to convert this study into more wardrobe area. So right at the corner is where you can find the common bathroom, really new and pristine in condition. I love that they also come with two ventilation windows. So this is where you can find the second bedroom of the home. If you take a look at the floor plan, this is roughly the layout for you to explore. Definitely large enough for you to fit in a full, proper, functional bedroom with your study or your vanity, plus the walk-in wardrobe for you to enjoy. As we head to the front portion of the home, this is going to be the grandmaster room. So currently the setup is that they fit in a king size. You do have a very nice headboard over there. And two sides table, lots of space for you to roam around. Right in front is where they place their TV. And if you do enjoy some of the outdoor chill and relax area, you can definitely do it at the balcony. But before that, let's head on to the walk-in wardrobe. I love how spacious this whole walk-in wardrobe is. You do have quite a number of panels of wardrobe to put in all the clothes. There is also a well taught area which is the vanity table for the missus to do the makeup or do the hair. Now this has got to be one of the nicest bathrooms that you can find in this detached home. It comes with a bathtub, you have a standing shower, the wash area, dual sink for Mr. and Mrs. And what I really love is that they put some of the plants right outside the bathroom. So there's a lot of light coming through, but it still feels like a resort. I think this balcony size is great if you're someone that likes to chill and relax right outside. The owners have added on these aluminium panels for added privacy. If you're someone who likes to do gardening, this is probably a nice corner for you to be close to the plant. we head on to the third level, you'll realise that the whole of the staircase is nicely cladded with the parking finishes. 
So this is part of the renovation that the owners have done. What I really love about this whole staircase is it feels so bright. We don't really need any light because of all the windows that are situated on both ends. So on the third level, you can find three bedrooms as well. Enter the common bedroom on the third level. Uh, this is the size that you'll be getting really generous, really squarish in terms of layout. If you do have a pair of twins or you have kids of a similar age, you maybe want to place them together in the bedroom because the size is huge for them to play, for them to rest. Right at the corner is where you can find the study table. Right at the corner, you do have one, two, three, four panels of wardrobe for you to put in more clothes. Right opposite, you can find an attached bathroom and all of the bathrooms do come with a ventilator window. So something to note about this bedroom is that you do access to a small little balcony right over here and just take a look at the view. So because we are elevated on this hill, uh, what you get to see there, that's Kensington Park and then you can find Affinity at Serangoon over there. So moving on, you have another bedroom. This is squarish in terms of the size and shape. Uh, what the owners have done is to have some of the fixture here. This acts as a very nice headboard, but also as a combination of storages for the kids to use. You do have a study desk right over here. Right at the corner, you can find the full height wardrobe spaces. So you can put those that you don't use on a daily basis right at the top. And this is going to be where you put in all the clothes. You do have attached bathroom right at the corner here, very compact. And you do find a ventilation window as well. All right, so now we are on the junior master bedroom. Layout Otherwise, this is really squarish yet really generous in size. You could place your queen size and it's still a good distance away from your TV console. Where we are facing is looking towards the front portion of the house. This is the southwest orientation. So the owners did add on some wooden panelings to prevent some of the heat from coming in. The owners have also added on some aluminium panels for added privacy. So this junior master also comes with a walk-in wardrobe and is nicely concealed behind this sliding door. So you do have a long walkway of wardrobe for you to put in all the clothes. There is also a vanity corner for the missus to do the makeup or do the hair. So right opposite is the attached bathroom. Really premium in quality. You do have ventilation window for you to dispel out all the moist. What I really love about this bathroom is they have a combination of putting the planters right outside the bathroom which makes the whole place really cozy and feels like I'm in a resort. Alright, so now I'm going to bring you down back to the first level because I need to share with you a little bit on the pricing analysis of detached homes. So out of the four categories, the Cat 1 being the original unit requiring total build-up, that would estimate about $3 million for construction for build-up of this size. You also need to factor in the 18 to 24 months of rebuilding period, not forgetting the rental required for your family, perhaps about $15,000 a month. That will bring you up to 250 to 360 for additional expenses. The Cat 2 units are the middle age landed requiring A and A costing you about $800,000 and that will take you 6 to 12 months for major renovation. You do have the Cat 3 units being less than 15 years. Those probably will require lesser renovation costing $200,000 to $500,000. Perhaps need a 3 to 6 months of renovation work depending on the intensity of the work done. Then you have the Cat 4 which are the really brand new landed. Those quantum are already crossing $10 million in terms of pricing but also you will need to pay slightly in terms of premium and perhaps still factor in some of the renovation required. For our unit, this is a detached home, just only 3 years or 100% in moving condition. You literally just need to bring in your furniture, perhaps do a professional cleaning and what you are getting means that you're getting a cat for landed but at a cat tree kind of pricing. So if you take a quick look for brand new detached houses in D9 or 10, those that are of similar land size area above 4,000 square feet, those quantum are already reaching 15.5 to 18 million over dollars. So within our vicinity, you can also find a brand new detached house above 4,000 in terms of land size. Those TOP in 2024, that's along D13 Wasco Road area, those are asking at 10.6 
6 million in terms of quantum. So as a homeowner of this cat-pre landed home, you will be asking yourself, if you were to buy into this landed and stay for a good 10 over years, then which category will you belong to? Is it safe to say that you will still belong in the cat tree category? And the fun fact to note is that in District 19, especially for the Serangoon Garden landed enclave, there are still possible options for buyers to look into original bungalow unit at above 4,000 square feet for them to rebuild into a full detached house. And if you were to factor in the reconstruction cost of about $450 for PSF, build out of similar size at 7,000 square feet, that will bring your total reconstruction cost to around 3 odd million. So those original landed or a single detached waiting to be rebuilt, those are asking at a quantum of 7 million plus at a land cost of 1,005 in terms of PSF. So if you're factoring both costs for the land cost, $7.5 million together with the reconstruction cost of 3 odd million dollars, that will bring the total quantum to 10 odd million dollars. And for those homeowners that are looking to exit in the near future, it is safe to say that they will be at least looking for a profit of $1 million. Those Cat 4 category will now start to ask at a brand new quantum of 11 or 12 odd million dollars onwards. Alright, so we have come to the end of this home tour. If you are looking for an almost brand new detached home in D19, we are located in the Serangoon Garden Landed Enclave. This is just under $10 million. It features a 7 bed, 7 bath. It's a perfect dream home together with a swimming pool, private lift, and a Japanese sand garden. We are also very closely located to the Tavistock MRT station coming up in 2030. If you'd like to arrange for a physical viewing, do contact myself, Jessly, or Eunice for more arrangements. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. If you know someone who enjoyed this home or looking to have one, do share the link to them. Once again, my name is Jess Lee Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Hi everyone, Property Lim Brothers is back with another landed home tour series. <laughs> Alright, so as we have the tea, hot. <laughs> Rolling. Alright, so as we head on to the junior ensuite, junior master. Okay. Oh, I'm in here. Okay, la, okay, la, okay, 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 ok